It's Tuesday, April 3rd, 2012. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com and it's time to get loaded. Amazon already has its own app store for Android, but now it's taking a page out of the Apple Playbook and is testing in-app purchases. It's a way an app can charge users for add-on services and features from inside the app and Amazon would still get a 30% cut of the sales. Bloomberg reports that there's been a pilot program for a month with a company called Skimble, which sells physical fitness programs. This could bring a whole new level of apps and usefulness to Amazon's Kindle Fire tablet, which uses Android apps. Facebook is under fire for lack of women and diversity in its leadership. A new movement has launched called the Face It campaign, and it's designed to draw attention to the fact that the board of Facebook consists only of seven white men. Since the world's largest social network is about to go public after announcing a $5 billion initial public offering, the Face It campaign says a change is needed in the board to better reflect Facebook's own mission to make the world more open and connected. Facebook is not the only tech company to exclude women from its board. Twitter, PayPal, and Foursquare's boards are all male. Apple, Amazon, and Groupon's boards have just one woman. And as for Google, three of its 10 board members are women. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has gone on the record in the summer about why the board has no women. He told The New Yorker that, quote, I'm going to find people who are helpful, and I don't particularly care what gender they are or what company they are. I'm not filling the board with checkboxes. The latest buzz about the next iPhone is that it will come out this summer. A recruiter at Foxconn, that's the factory where Apple products are made, told a TV Tokyo reporter that the plant is hiring 18,000 people to make the iPhone 5, which is going on sale in June. Hmm. And speaking of Foxconn, the factory is pledging to pay workers more and cut back hours in response to complaints about its labor practices. The Fair Labor Association conducted an audit of the Chinese factory used to make Apple products and other popular gadgets and found most workers put in more than 60 hours a week and workers were not being fairly compensated for overtime or for the cost of living. There's drama in the mobile payment world. One of the co-founding engineers of Google Wallet has quit Google to join Square. The engineer worked on technology that lets users just wave their Google Wallet phone over a sensor to make a payment. So perhaps Square might be adding this tech to its payment offerings. Since Google Wallet has launched in May, it's been plagued by security concerns and not many consumers are using it because it only works with one phone. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Carey with CNET.com, and you just been loaded.